The surprise arrest of the two senior lawyers by officers attached to the Special Crimes Prevention Unit in Nairobi came barely a week after the Director of Public Prosecution, Nurdin Haji, approved their detention upon receiving investigation files into the loss of 200 million shillings at the Mumias Sugar Company. A special team of investigators made up of officers from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations Legal Department and the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution has been investigating the alleged multi-million shilling theft that occurred at the sugar factory according to an audit report. If the investigators do not do a good job, they cannot blame a judicial officer trying a matter for what may happen an, an acquittal. Immediately after being arrested, Ojenda and Wanyama were hurriedly taken to the Directorate of Criminal Investigation headquarters along Kiambu Road, where they were interrogated before being transferred to the nearby Mudaiga police station cells. Sources also indicate that detectives are looking for court of appeal judge Oteno Odek in relation to the fraud. <laughs> A host of lawyers led by senior counsel John Kaminwa and representatives from the Law Society of Kenya who had attempted to reach the DCI director, George Kinoti, protested the arrest, terming it malicious. Uh, the Law Society of Kenya is really disappointed in the manner in which these arrests have been undertaken on Friday evenings. And we reiterate our call on the director of criminal investigations to uh, adhere to the constitution while arresting anyone. What I would like to emphasize is this. Let us not go back to the old days when people used to be arrested during very odd hours. It is being completely malicious. There is a court order in case number 418, I see here of 2018, which prohibits the DCI and the DPP uh, from causing the arrest of agenda over these matters, including the one that they have alleged about the Mumia sugar. Ojenda's arrest comes in the wake of a protracted court battle between the member of the Judicial Service Commission and the Kenya Revenue Authority, which is demanding millions of shillings from the lawyer over alleged non-tax compliance. Seth Olale, NTV.